He goes. the fastest sport on TV. I'm Bear and this is the Ninex Arena in the heart of Manchester, home of ice hockey's finest, the Manchester Storm. The smashing team, and they're a nice lot of boys. We love Storm. Storm. They're the best team in Manchester. Best thing what's happening around here. It's a dead good family day out, and there's loads of things to do and lots of music, and the entertainment's really good. <laughs> this afternoon, exclusively on Better Than Eyes, we've got Storm's final game of the season against the Air Scottish Eagles. We've got goals, goals, and even more goals as we take a look at the Storm season end. Insight from the players and the fans' views on the Storm's first season in the Ice Hockey Super League. I'm already getting prepared for next season, and uh, I think if we finish anything less than third, it'll be a disappointing season. We're going to go for it next year. But before all that, we'll gauge the mood of the players for the last time. Downstairs in the heart of the Storm Shelter. Um, yeah, tonight's game, we just want to uh, go out and play as well as we can for the fans. Uh, this is just a, a pride game for us. Air's already in the final, and, and we're, uh, we're out. And, uh, you know, hard pill to swallow, but, uh, you know, it's something we're, we're faced with. Uh, we're, like I said, we're playing for pride and, uh, and our jobs, so that's the way it goes. Well, we're going to go out, last one of the year. Um, we're going to go out and have some fun. Uh, no pressure, a lot of enjoyment. Say, say bye to the fans for ourselves. Uh, hopefully come out with no bumps and bruises for the summertime. And just go out and do our best tonight. We like, we like to win a game, you know, especially for the home fans. You know, they support us for the whole year. And, uh, it would be nice to give them a victory. I know, I know. If we get 10 or 12,000 to come out tonight, we'd like to win a game for them and uh, at least send them home happy. Judging by that, we're in for a great game. Here's the experts, the guys who taught me everything I know about ice hockey dynamic duo, Paul Ferguson and Richard Beaupre. Bear, 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 so young, so pretty, so delicate. So why, when I hear your name, do I think of Grizzly Adams? I blame those hippy-dippy duck parents of yours. Folks, last game of the season for the Manchester Storm here in the 9X Arena. We will, of course, be here for the semifinals and the finals in a couple of weeks to come, but how important is this last game for them? Well, it's very important. The Manchester Storm are going to have another large crowd in the building tonight. They provided great entertainment throughout the season. Why not finish it off tonight with a victory? And how about the Air Scottish Eagles? They'll be here to play hockey, of course, just as the Cardiff Devils were the other night. They certainly will. It'll be a wide-open contest. Aaron need to get a good skate out of tonight's game and get things in place for the semifinals, which they will be a part of, and they've got everything to play for. Well, the last time these two teams met was right at the end of the season, and it was here in the 9X Arena. This is what happened. The last time Air were down here in Manchester was in regular league action back in January. The game was a bit of a rough old tussle with the Storm running out a 2-1 victory. Time for ice hockey. For the last time this season, we've got Manchester Storm. With the action, here's Paul and Richard. Andy Carson is the referee for tonight's game. Staniforth and Batchelder are working the lines. Rubichuk for Manchester, moving the puck from right to left. Get it down, and that comes out to Turner. He fires it back in. And Cavilla gets his first touch of the game as he skates out behind the cage. The Air Scottish Eagles have a lot of talent. There are no real individual stars on this team, but boy, do they work as a unit. Jim Lynch, the coach, has done a magnificent job as 
Gold picks it up to work this team into a successful unit. Lala faked the shot, went around. Lindsay's on his tail. Good move there by Woodcroft. Lala picks it up and drops it back. Eagles coming up now with Prohatska. Prohatska, who came to air with Yuri Lala, two experienced checks. Lala taps it over. Prohatska trying to get back, and Penny on the far side will race into the corner. We're not expecting a very physical hockey game, but if it's anything like the Cardiff game, then it's going to be fast and wide open, and that's great hockey to watch. Right out to the side of the net, a chance. Backhander doesn't come, but a chance now for the Storm. No shot coming there with a minute and a half gone as Poole get it out. That shot is right in front. Zavisha lost it in his skates. And here come the Scottish Eagles with a two-on-one. St. Pierre flipped it over, looking for the return pass. St. Pierre goes upstairs. Oh, goaltender didn't see it as it came right out front again. Get a shot on goal. Good end-to-end -end stuff. Catanaro bangs that along. Poole on the far side. Didn't know he had a man behind him right in front of the net. And Scott Young slows it down and brings it right back up the ice. Flynn. Flynn trying to feed it through nicely to Wolf. Wolf, dipsy doodles, goes under and just can't get it through the pads. Great goaltending by Finney. Ruggles loses that as Rolo shot it in, and Finney has come up big a couple of times. So you're looking at two of the newest teams in the Super League. Air just a few months old, and Manchester Storm a couple of years old. But they again have an army of supporters behind both teams. Both have beautiful ice rinks. This one, of course, dwarfs most rinks in Europe, let alone in Britain, but uh, they still pack him in up in air. Ruggles That's tried to get baby. that, and now Smith has got it from a sharp angle right out front. Martin Smith almost got it from David Smith. It'll pass up on the wing, 13-25 remaining on this first period. Still no score in this hockey game. Schuler, Lindsay takes it off him. Ruggles goes for a skate. Ruggles being hooked from behind from Flynn. Ruggles breaks free. Here goes Ruggles. Ruggles taps it over, good little pass. Lindsay can't control it, but Smith will get it in the corner. Smith with Schuler on his tail. Ruggles reaches for that, he's got it, gets it right out front. Smith couldn't get a handle on it, that was deflected away. Wolf spun around, still Wolf stays on it and just fires it in and goes to the bench. Middle tip up, and Lindsay, who's seeing a lot of ice time tonight, hits the red line and fires it in, and then he goes to the bench. Prohatska, Moran goes in after him, that's sent free. St. Pierre, or Lynch rather, shot right on the target. Zavisha and Rubichok, Rubichok getting the shot away. Steer got it over, Lynch is out there, the son of the coach, for the first time in this hockey game. It's good to see the young Scottish player getting some ice time out there. Stevie Lynch pushing in the corner. Burwanger gets it out to Steer. Bo. Bo comes in from a sharp angle. Got a big chop there. Lynch gets it at the top of the circle. Gets a shot on the goal. Coming through traffic. Finney got a piece of it. Lynch again gets it out. Little tap back and it's intercepted. Woodcroft throws it over to Moore and he's got Rubichuk. Rubichuk is behind him, a chance now as Rubichuk feeds it in, Morin is there, scores! Goal number one to the Manchester Storm. Woodcroft, Morin and Rubichuk getting the job done. It all started in Manchester zone. A hack and a whack from Woodcroft, he ended up with a puck. He always has his head up, good vision, skated it out, fed the puck across to Morin. Rubichuk carried on through the middle. He stayed on side. The play went into the air zone. The shot was taken. Morin was right there for the rebound. He put it away, and the Storm have the first goal of the game. 11.36 left on the 
first period, and it's just what the doctor ordered for this massive crowd here in the 9X Arena. And that's been an interesting line change by Coach John Lawless. Chad Penny had been on that line with Woodcroft and Morin. The last few games we've seen Rubichuk on that line, and Rubichuk's been flying since that change has been made. The last time these two teams met in the playoffs, Rubichuk picked up a couple of goals. It wasn't enough as they went down to air 5-3. Lala instrumental in winning that hockey game on his own. He got three goals, voted the player of the year in air, and the man of the match in that game. You can't do much better than that, can you? Lala was brought in to score goals this year. He had 44 points in the league. He's got eight goals in five playoff games, so he's really starting to fly during these playoffs now. Air coming back with Morrison, getting it over onto the left wing. Calder goes after it. Cupolo trying to move it along the boards. It didn't happen. Young couldn't bat that one down. Long pass up the middle, and the icing whistle blows. Lindsay lets Smith go and brings it up the middle. Wolf went in and was taken out of the play. Lindsay ran into trouble. That's the one problem you can encounter when you're bringing it up as the last man. You can be poke checked and there's no one behind you to help out. Wolf, the intended receiver on that. Calder chases him into the corner. Grolo, Grolo from a sharp angle, tries to poke it through and almost got that away. The shot ended up in the corner with Lindsay down on one knee. Clutch and grab hockey out there as the Air Scottish Eagles try to get something going to get back into this hockey game. Kumu shot it in the corner. Ruggles ties up Rolo. Manchester with Lindsay. Long pass up to Smith. Going after McAfee is Smith. Smith tries to backhand it in the corner, and he does. Smith again. A couple of Smiths out there right out front. Ruggles! Oh, and Ruggles unable to bury that one. That clearance was grabbed by Ramp, who's sitting on the bench. It went over the boards, and the goalie, who's the backup goalie, made his first save of the game. But boy, did Ruggles come close. Well, Hilton Ruggles was very close to Cavilla in the air net. And there's also the, the situation of having too much time. Hilton Ruggles had so much time, kept the puck on the backhand. He was camped out for about a day and a half in front of the net. Tried to go upstairs with it. One crack, two shots at it. It just didn't fall for him. Turner back at the blue line. Let's the shot go deflected off the plexiglass. And it really has been a good first period for the Storm. Lynch feeds it right through. A chance now for Steer. Steer shot on the target. Kicked out by Finney, who's been looking sharp. Nine minutes and three seconds left on this first period. Bo takes it up on this side. Sends it quickly over to Burwanger, who can't hang on to it. Morin. Get it deeper, Max. Right at the top of the circle. A chance now as Cooper tries to get back. Lynch goes in, takes a shot, and Finney was there to make the big save. Well, that would have been the first goal for Stevie Lynch in his career with the Air Scottish Eagles. 42 games in the league. Steve Lynch had two assists in regular season play. That would have been a big goal for him. Unselfish move by Jamie Steer there. Absolutely. Steer just kept his head up. He fed the puck across to Lynch. Good opportunity. He did the right thing. He kept it low, but Finney made a nice save. Pass up onto the wing and the storm with a lot of movement, or a lot of room to move, rather. Get it back and flip it as far as the blue line. Poole trying to find Penny. That didn't work. Calder got it over. Zavisha wanted it, but Turner floated it in. Zavisha, Penny goes in, and that's deflected away. Morrison now at the blue line. A two-on-two -two developing. Morrison drops it back to Young. Young winds up. He's got the big shot. Elects to go for the pass right in front. Morrison was there and it didn't, uh, didn't come off with a two-on-one situation. Penny got the pass from Poole. Catanaro. Poole, Penny in the corner and Young is there. Young slides it back. And the Storm pick it up with Sebastian. Along the board, Sebastian 
flips it out of harm's way, and Young takes it at the top of the circle. 7.38 remaining on this period. Wolf shot right on the target. Finney is there, rebound comes out, and the storm again. Start up quickly. Turner, shot, an awkward one. Goaltender scores! Well, the goaltender was slow to get over. Smith came in and said, I'll take this, thank you very much. An awkward bounce off the backboards, that's number two. Again, it's the little things in ice hockey to count. The Air Scottish Eagles on the fly going at the Manchester goal. Brad Turner just stepped out of the way. He let his goaltender, John Finney, see the puck. Finney made the save, Turner took the puck, came down the ice, took a shot. The rebound is there off the backboards for Martin Smith, and he buries it for the second storm goal. One twenty-seven on the period. Young goes for a little skate, looks for an opening. Young looking for the return pass, as he does on so many occasions. It didn't come his way. St. Pierre, Young, and it's a bit of a hospital pass as it was slightly behind him, but Young is there on the red line to pick it up. Winds up, takes a shot, the deflection. Took some steam out of that, but still the save had to be made. Turner got a piece of the shot off the stick of Scott Young, but it was still a tough one for John Finney as it took the deflection. He had to stand his ground and make sure he could control the puck. You know, Young must have been a forward in a former life. He really likes to roam and he likes to get the shot away, and he's one defenseman that does know what to do once he gets beyond the other team's blue line. He's quite a character. He could play hockey offensively very well, and he's a good defenseman when he puts his mind to staying back and just being a blue-collar defenseman. And he's not adverse to being a little physical when called upon to do so. No stranger to the penalty box. Rolo, long pass up. Behind Wolf. Lindsay, his pass up the middle is grabbed just inside the blue line. Flynn tries to tip it up, and here comes Rolo. Rolo. Unable to spin through as Lindsay held on. Turner, Turner, back pass, Morin, Morin goes to the far side. Correction, that was Poole going for the far side. 19, not 15. Little tip up, and this is good as Wolf grabs it. He's got Grolo. Wolf slides it over. Grolo, Turner will go after him. 12 seconds on the period. A chance perhaps for one shot. Cooper. Knows the time is running down. That took a deflection, and that'll be a souvenir for someone in this 9X arena with two seconds remaining on the clock. Faceoff will come outside of the air zone at the point where the stick deflected the puck over the plexiglass. It took a long time to get up over the plexiglass. It floated for seconds. The crowd thought that, we, that was going to be the end of the period. Well, that's the end of the period now. The buzzer goes to end 20 minutes of hockey and a brilliant start for the Manchester Storm. That was good, eh? Join us after the break for two more periods of the best ice hockey action on TV and a look at the Storm season. Welcome back to the 9X Arena. We've got the Manchester Storm against the Air Scottish Eagles. This is the Storm's final game of a long, hard season. The season for us this year has been uh, kind of topsy-turvy. One minute we're uh, beating the champions of the league and then the next minute we're losing to the seventh place team. So, I mean, that's why we ended up there at the bottom of the league. Our consistency was terrible. They've had potential there, but they've not really performed. So if they put a bit more commitment in, then it'd be better. I've spent a lot of time in the stands and to see mistake after mistake being made is probably you know, one of the biggest disappointments. And to see guys with a lot of talent that aren't putting it forth and not putting their best effort forth for the good of the team, I think that was the biggest disappointment. After saying everything about a disappointing season, we've performed well at home. You know, we've only won three games on the road. Two on three situation, shot scores! Jonathan Weaver, the young grit, like the shot goal, that's number two. Askew, right in front of his goal! Johnson makes a three. To lose a game, it builds confidence and character, and they've got plenty of that. We've had some bright spots this season, and we've had a lot of downs. Uh, you know, I think the bright spots would be beating Sheffield here in a full 
full crowds. Personally, my favourite game has been at the Sheffield Steelers, where we had 17,200 people here, and the atmosphere was just fabulous, and we won it as well, which was a bonus. Cooper scores from the face-off. Stephen Cooper tries to get it out front. Goaltender made a hash to score. The shot upstairs by Turner. Oh, Warren was left alone. The storm now. Shot from a sharp line. Rebound is there. That's number four. Lindsay shot right on the target. Rebound. Warren scores. Number five for the storm. Two on one. Smith got it over. Scores. Lindsay. The best game was a Bratnell game. Definitely the Bratnell game. Everyone was on the edge of the seats. It was just amazing atmosphere. With a move on the backhand side, Sebastian has a look, lays it out in front. Bernard holds his ground, gets a pad on it. Rebound is there! Nick Poole right on the rebound. Poole. Poole with whistle after him. Rubichuk behind the goal. Let's put the score! A close escape for John Finney. And now the storm back on the attack. Poole scores! Well, it was Pratt. The play broke down, a good break for the Storm, and the third goal coming from Nick Poole, his hat-trick in this game. We're getting there. After 18 months, I think we've done remarkably well from, from scratch, and I think we'll make it one day, we'll really make it. But I, I think the fans stuck with us this year, you know, I think next season we're going to be a much stronger team, and, uh, you know, I would, I would uh, say to the fans, you know, be expecting uh, to see us carrying a couple of cups around next season. Well, personally, I think it's been a very interesting season. It's been a learning season for the Manchester Storm. They're a brand new team in this league. They've only been around a couple of years. Disappointing? No, I wouldn't say that. I think they've beaten the best teams when they've played well, and they're showing right now that they can do it. But the season for you, Bobs. Well, exactly as you said, Paul. I mean, it has been a learning curve for John Lawless and his staff. The players have come in here not totally knowing what to expect. On any given day during the season, they have played as well as anybody in the league, including the leaders, Cardiff Devils. Well, right now they're up against the semi-finalists and the third place finishers in the league and they're beating them 2-0 after 20 minutes of hockey. So here's living proof that they can play. Second period starts with the Storm playing from left to right. Rolo for Air Scottish Eagles gets that through center. 2-0 scoreline with the Storm in the lead. Oren drops it back to Turner who gets it to the far side to Lindsay. The Storm are making good use of this massive ice surface out there. Long passes. Grolo took that shot, and Turner got a tip on it. It wasn't that far wide of the net. Right in. Oh, and Finney. Grolo came in, and Finney comes up real big. Uh, Grolo shaking his head. I should think John Finney would be shaking his even more. Thank you very much as the puck went into his glove hand. Good strength by Wolf. Mark Wolf held off a defender, slid the puck across nicely, right onto the stick of Grolo. It looked like he had a goal. It wasn't to be. Finney had other ideas. The sign from the supporter said, don't mess with Ruby. He's solid as a rock. I don't want to meet this girl called Ruby, I tell you. She sounds like a terror. <laughs> <laughs> the reference, of course, was to Rubichuk. <laughs> Before I get some letters about sexist remarks, <laughs> Sebastian slams on the brakes and gets it up. Trapped at the blue line. St. Pierre's shot as well and truly wide. Ruggles. St. Pierre and Ruggles do battle on the far side. Ruggles wins that one. Three on two now. Ruggles feeds it over. Catanaro got the stick in as the offside whistle blew. One extra move right at the blue line by Hilton Ruggles was enough to throw Marty Smith offside on the left wing. Faceoff comes outside the zone as the goaltender gets a fresh bottle of water. 
goaltender has his own little bottle of water sitting on the top of the net. Some drink from it during the game, others take showers. Well, there's also the other side of it where players don't want to share anything with the goalies anyway. They don't want to drink <laughs> after him for fear that they might start acting the goalie. <laughs> I resemble that remark. Turner drives it in, and it's picked up in the corner in the air of Scottish Eagles, trailing by two, started up. Lynch gives it away, a chance now. And a good move on Rubichuk to break that one up as Young elects to bang it off the boards, but Turner saw it. Young got it back again, tried to give it to St. Pierre. He lost it to number five, Lindsay. Lindsay's pass wasn't a good one, but the Storm come up with it anyway. Morin has got Woodcroft in front. Bouncing is there, so is the goaltender's mitt. Good coverage by the Air Scott Eagles. Scott Young just stayed right with Morin as Morin was looking to feed somebody in front of the net. All of the Scottish Eagles getting back picked up a white Manchester Storm shirt and just didn't leave anybody open. Andy Carson hasn't had much to do in the way of penalties. I think he knew that this one was not going to be a very physical game, that it would be freewheeling, and uh, it's been just that. Flynn tried to work his way through, tied up by Penny, enabling Cooper to get the puck. That comes back. Wolf lets a shot go. Great save to a crowd of players, and here comes Poole. Poole drops it back. Zavisha unable to get it in the skate, and Wolf on the far side. Zavisha has Poole out front, but he couldn't get to the puck. Good transitional play out there as one minute the teams are on defense and they're on offense. Zavisha breaks towards the net as Poole dumps it around the boards. Schuler on the far side. Cooper is there. Penny is out front looking for Poole to get it out to him. Cooper fans on the clearance and Schuler gets it. One or two giveaway pucks out there, but it's getting really tight as far as checking is concerned. Sebastian's pass out front took a deflection. Finney has it back in the circle. Long pass up by the goaltender is good. Manchester, long shot in. Villa grabs it and throws it down. Pass up to the red line, and the Air Scottish Eagles move forward. Nice pass up to Lala. Lala goes to the far corner and finds it with ease. Yuri Lala, 37 years old. What a talent. The look on his face when he scored says it all. Just cool, calm, always knowing where he wants to put the puck. He's one guy that once he makes a move and he's got room like that, the percentages are in his favor of burying it. He was in on the forehand on his off wing. He let Finney just slightly make a move on the play. As Finney reacted, Lala just very casually snapped the puck into the corner. Right-handed shot going down the left wing makes it more difficult for the goaltender to judge the angle. Lala's ninth playoff goal. He's on fire. I think they're a little disappointed with his hit and miss performance at the start of the season, but hey, it's right now that counts coming up to playoff time. If Lala is hot, so are the Air Scottish Eagles. Lala picks it up in the corner. Playing like a teenager out there. The pass up was a good one, but Burwanger couldn't hang on to it. Smith now with a chance. Smith running out of places to go as Frantisek Klohatska took him wide and forced him to take the puck around the net. Three-on-one situation coming up now. Prohatska, Prohatska unable to get the shot away. Ran out of time. One end, he did the defending. On this time, he had the offensive move, and he, too, was forced wide and deep. Ruggles, Ruggles. His shot is deflected away. Goes off the boards as Catanaro went back with him. Smith now with a chance. Gives it to Ruggles. Ruggles right in front. Smith on the far side. Lynch unable to take it off his stick. Smith along the blue line gets it in. Smith goes in and that comes back to the blue line. Calder fires it in. Lindsay's there to take it right back into the zone. Lays it off, a chance now as Rubichuk came in. 
And the pass took a deflection away from him. Moorcroft, long pass in. Driven along the boards, away from Cupolo. Cooper winds up, shot on the target. Goaltender save, loose puck. Rubachuk was right there, couldn't tip it beyond the goaltender. Good shot by Cooper. Good hard shot by Stephen Cooper. Moran, Rubachuk queued up in front of the air goal, just waiting for a rebound. Cavilla didn't really have a lot of people back to help him. He did the right thing by just doing anything he had to do to hold on to the puck. I love John Finney. I wonder if that's his mom. I don't know, it could be his sister. Oh, he must have a fan somewhere. He's actually one of the more colorful characters, even though he's an American, he's still got a lot of <laughs> charisma. I should say, even though he's an American goaltender. Good hit by Cooper on the far side of the rink. The first real big hit of this hockey game. A chance now, Finney goes, that scores! Everyone was looking the other way. And the Air Scottish Eagles come up to level it. Goaltender caught, perhaps, napping just for a moment. Just long enough for Jamie Steer to have an opening and put the puck away. Two minutes, 25 seconds remaining on this second period. Everyone looking the other way, as I said, and the Eagles come in quickly to level it right at the end of the period. Nice time to score. You go in the dressing room feeling good about the way you played. Steer drops it back. A chance for Burwanger. Burwanger with room to move as Turner didn't take him out. Burwanger allowed to walk right out front. Whoa, what was Turner thinking on that play? He just followed him, tried to get the puck, and didn't try to take the body, which is what he should do. Never mind the puck, and he allowed him to waltz out front and have a point-blank shot at the goaltender. That's a hanging offense. I think that Marcus Burwanger couldn't believe he had that much room and time in the end to get a shot off. He was delaying and holding on to the puck, looking for somebody open in front of the net. He ended up having a good chance for himself. Thank goodness for Manchester. Finney was still awake. Momentary lapse here for the Manchester Storm with that play and the woman one a moment ago where they picked up, the Eagles picked up a goal. Well, it's something that John Lawless, even in the coaching staff, have mentioned on and off during this season. It's these momentary lapses and the giveaways that have caught Manchester a few times and have really hurt them. Young tying up Ruggles, or was it Ruggles tying up Young? Nevertheless, the storm now with St. Pierre shooting it in. Finney comes out, flips it along the plexi, chapped away by Calder along the boards. Young will get this. Ruggles out there with the two Smiths once again. St. Pierre drops it back. Cucolo, long pass going for Wolf. Icing is the call. Wolf was almost free, and you can see what the Air Scottish Eagles are trying to do. They're working on the long pass from either the defenseman or the winger, hitting the opposite winger or the center, breaking right across the red line, hoping to split the defenseman. They're starting to settle down into this game as well. You can see now the pass, pass work, the puck movement. Drop back as Lindsay took the shot. It deflected with less than a minute to go. Rolo got it from Wolf, given to Kumu. Kumu with 47 seconds takes it over, drops it back to Flynn. Flynn tried to feed it through. Along the boards, a chance now with a two on one break. Can Morin get it? No, he can't. Good move by Schuller to tip it away. Flynn. With a two-on-two -two situation, stick handles goes upstairs. Goaltender lost it. That bounced down behind his back, came right down in the crease. Finney almost put it in his net himself. Whoa, 17 seconds, what a finish. I think that Finney thought he was deeper into his net than he actually was and that the puck was just gonna bounce off him and clearly go over the net. It didn't happen and that was a close one. 
nightmare situation for Finney. He's gonna wanna get this period over. Well, there goes the buzzer to end a great period for the Air Scottish Eagles. It's all level with one period to play for. Well, it seems like Air is trying really hard to spoil the Storm's end of season party. To see if the Storm can come back, join us after the break. Welcome back to Betters on Ice. It's Manchester Storm 2, Air Scottish Eagles 2. Let's see if the boys can clinch in the last period. Over to you guys. 20 minutes of regulation play remaining. All tied up at two apiece. The Storm playing from right to left with Lindsay back deep. I must admit, I've really enjoyed this one. Grolo right out front. Wolf couldn't bury that one. Shot in by Schuler. Some sloppy play around the back of the net. Almost gave the Air Scottish Eagles a goal in the first couple of seconds. Rubichuk breaks, and the pass comes from Moore and bangs off the backboards. Away along the boards, Lindsay flips it to the far side. Lindsay and Turner are back on the D, and the Air Scottish Eagles go for a quick change as the Storm come up. Long pass through, Rubichok goes after that. Bounced off the plexi by the goaltender. Woodcroft along the boards. Loose puck at the side of the net, and Lala. Nice pass over to Kumu. Kumu drops it up, and Berwanger Steer right of the scores! Clever passing by Lala's line, and Steer was left alone in front to redirect the puck over the red line. The play was created by Ryan Kumu, who took the puck out of his own zone, and he did the sensible thing. He went wide with the puck, made the Manchester Storm defense spread out, Laid a nice, soft little pass ahead for Burwanger. He carried on, coming right into the picture very quickly was Jamie Steer. Kept his stick right on the ice. The puck was right there, and he put it away very quickly. Ruggles. Smith. Morin. Side of the net. And Wolf now collects. Nice pass up. Schuler, the defenseman, with Grolo. Grolo has got Wolf out front. Grolo working his way in front. And here come the Storm. Turner with a burst of speed. Great move. Scores! Great individual effort by Turner to level the score. Well, that's another defenseman getting involved and getting involved in a big way. A great finish by Brad Turner. Steven Cooper got the play started out of the storm zone. He got tripped up on the play, but Turner just continued right on. He took Alan Schuler on in a one-on-one -on -one and turned him inside out. Finished the playoff very nicely, and the storm are level now. Good goal by Brad Turner. Rubichok right in front. Rubichok tried to barrel his way into the net along with the puck. Berwanger steers. It's ours. Come on, if we want it, you know it's Lala. ours. Lala. Lala takes the shot right on the target. Finney down to make the save. Woodcroft to the far side to Morin. Prohatska goes in and Morin goes down hard. Morin still down on the ice, gets up slowly, and the officials do the intelligent thing with a player down on the ice. They blow the whistle. Smith, seven minutes gone. Got that back, and it's tumped over the far side, and air now with Grolo. Wolf. Wolf drives it in. Everyone races in for the dump and run. Comes out to Flynn. Flynn guns for the far corner. He wasn't that far off the target. Kumu couldn't hold it in. Smith now has got Ruggles. Smith shoots off the goaltender. All the way back to Lindsay. Lindsay had trouble controlling that. Couldn't get the shot away. Goes along the boards to Smith. David Smith. Martin Smith. 
Ruggles out front doing some great stick handling. Well, Smith and Ruggles now unable to slow that down. Smith on the far side again. Lost control. The team will have to come out of the zone as the Storm try to get fresh legs out there. Long pass by Lindsay was intercepted by Golo and shot in by Kumu. 11.53 left on the clock. Nice move by Turner. Turner, pass right up the middle. Taken just inside the blue line. Rubichok. Rubichok with a chance. Let's the shot go. Good save. Kavilla. Morin. Woodcroft. Woodcroft fights off a check. Woodcroft tries to act as a dummy and does. Shot comes in. Great save by Kavilla on Morin. Woodcroft was cruising in front and couldn't get the rebound as he was taken out of the play. Very entertaining line to watch. Rubichuk working hard with Woodcroft and Morin. Steer being tied up, got the pass back. That went over the line. Lala goes after it and tidies things up nicely. Rohatska gets it to this side. Bo starts it up. Pass up to Lala. Goes off a skate and the Storm just get it out of the zone. Lala, uh, Prohatska rather, gives it to Bo. Bo looks rink side and rink wide goes over now to Steer. Two on two situation with Morin. Penny out front, drop back, a chance, a shot. Wide of the target, Sebastian lets it ride. Cooper pumps it back in. No let up in the pressure, no whistle for a long time out there. Ten and a half minutes remaining on the hockey game. McAfee leaves that. Young. Nice move by Scott Young. Good pass up to St. Pierre. St. Pierre, Lynch. Oh, good save as Lynch was gunning for his first goal of the season. Real class act. Scott Young putting a couple of great moves together and then throwing a superb pass ahead to St. Pierre. St. Pierre was unselfish as he laid it off to Lynch. Lynch just found himself a little bit too tight. Finney had the pad stacked up. Good save, but great pass work by the Air Scottish Eagles. The official goes to collect some debris off the ice. Not only do they have to call things like icing and offside, they have to get in between players when they're fighting out on the ice. And probably more importantly, they have to clean up the debris when it's, when it's there. They pick up little bits of stick, and uh, so it's all purpose. It's an all purpose job for the officials. They really do more than their job description tells them to do. Ruggles, a great move. Ruggles takes the shot, and it just trickles to the doorstep. Smith, Smith with a chance to shoot. Smith moves it, scores! Great goal by David Smith as he cruised in the slot area. I don't think the goaltender saw that. Well, with the work rate that Marty Smith and David Smith put in for this Manchester team, that is just a serve. A nice goal for David Smith. He couldn't be any happier for anybody out there. He never gives up 110% all the time. Ruggles giving a lot of the work. Skating with the puck, and that was David Smith's turn. Got on the puck, just kept his legs going, his head was up, waited for the right moment, and snapped the wrist shot into the goal. Back from the air, Scottish Eagles. Rolo, dipsy doodling, breaks to his right, taken out of the play by Cooper. Good hit by Cooper. Flynn. Flynn, nice pass back. Kumu upstairs off the flexi, that bounces down. Rubichuk clears it out of the zone and Schuler gets it over to Kumu. Wolf, nice pass. Shot wide of the target by Golo, deflected away and Rubichuk is back deep. These players have been out there for a long time. Poole wants it, gloves it down and here comes Poole. Poole has got Morin. Oh, big hit by Kumu. Oh, and another big hit on Kumu. Whoa, Penny came in and took over the policeman duties and hammered him into the boards. The fans are loving this. Prohatska squares off with Poole. Penny is right in front. Penny, Rubichok. Zavisha, rather. 11, not 41, a chance for Penny. Penny. 
Oh, he shoots. Great save by Kabila. Oh, what action. Smart D, Davey. The crowd loving every minute of it. It all began with a heavy hit from Ryan Kumu. That was applied to Nick Poole. A good, clean check, though. He just got a good piece of Nick Poole. Chad Penny said, well, if you can do it, I can. Penny followed through with a big hit of his own on Kumu. And then Prohaska stood up as Poole tried to have a go at him. The action continuing, the Storm getting a couple of shots away and a good save off the shot by Penny. Rolo was waiting for the pass to come his way. Now it's beyond him. And the Storm shoot it all the way down the ice. Icing is the call, and that will fall in favor of the Air Scottish Eagles. They'll have a face-off deep in Manchester territory with one minute and 23 seconds left on the clock. Still, the goaltender is between the pipes. Now he's coming over to talk to the coach because the timeout has been called. The timeout has been called by the Air Scottish Eagles. The face-off is critical. It's down in the Manchester zone. So John Lawless is going to talk to his guys about defensive coverage. Jim Lynch having a quick moment with his team to talk about what they want to do in trolling the face-off. Now he's got a huddle, but he's run out of time. Each team, of course, allowed a 30-second timeout in any one hockey game. You were right. Lawless is talking defense and winning a face-off and getting the puck out. And the Air Scottish Eagles are talking offense and getting the puck in. The goaltender is out of his net, so the net is wide open. Woodcroft and Flynn again. Drop back, this could be dangerous. Young wants it, Young winds up, take the shot, that hit Turner, and Rubachuk has got it. Rubachuk slows it down, intelligent move. He didn't go for the open goal. Right across in front of the net by Lala. Lala didn't seem concerned, but everybody in the building, including Jim Lynch was. And here come the Eagles, Lala feeds it over. Everyone trying to get in a position. They've got lots of time with 55 seconds left on the clock. Young is tied up in the corner, looking for Keen, looking for a good shooting position. Young throws it away, and that could be it as the Storm bring it out as far as the neutral zone. Steer drops it back. The shot comes in, deflected away, and that comes out to Wolf. Long pass up to Flynn, 30 seconds on the clock, pumped in, and again, it's Manchester getting it out of the zone. The intelligent pass again, not all the way down the ice. They don't want an icing call. Young gets it up. Lindsay bats it away. 15 seconds. Driven all the way down the boards, and that goes all the way down the ice. And the whistle blows with seven seconds, so the icing is called against air which is a turn-up for the Manchester Storm because the face-off will be back in air zone and they'll have to put their goalie back in as they're doing right now. It's a good finish for the Manchester Storm and very enjoyable for their loyal supporters to see the team end the season with a victory. Seven seconds left, the face-off deep in air territory. Kavila has had to come back off the bench and get into his net. The Storm should have a victory out of this one. Well, 10,000 people are clapping the Manchester Storm home. Listen to this noise. There are people standing there cheering. There's no let up. Can this shot all the way down the ice? Finney makes a save. And that's the hockey game. The Manchester Storm have won their last game of this brand new Super League season by beating the Air Scottish Eagles 4-3. A big victory, an important morale booster for the Storm. And a real payback for the fans who have come out all year to support them. 10,000 people here, as I said, and they've enjoyed this. They're on their feet, they're applauding, they're screaming, and, well, the Storm really have paid them back for a lot of support by winning this one. That was it, the final game of the season, and the Storm went out with a win. Let's get some reactions downstairs. Yeah, we won one! We won one! Oh, a little late, but we won one. Well, we won one in the playoffs, and that was our goal. Uh, we could have came out tonight and, and just rolled over and not done anything because it didn't really matter, but we showed a lot of character. Yeah. So all the
It was good to get a win under our belts, you know, but you know, it was good for the fans. We had 10,000 here tonight, and hopefully they'll uh, come back next year. We only break this out when we win, so we have a whole case in the room that we haven't used. <laughs> Right off the bat, they, they came at us and uh, had a couple of big saves early. And for a goalie, if you touch the puck early, you get your confidence going. And, and you know, that's really the key. Because if they score, like, on the first shot or the second shot, you kind of start second-guess yourself. So, uh, you know, I was pretty confident the whole night. Better late than never, I guess. It's a tough one. Could be uh, the last game of my career, so... It's a great atmosphere out there. It's, uh, it's good to go off on a win and note. So it's... Not too much to say right now. Overcome. Yep. Well, that was it. For the storm, the season might be over, but not so for betters on ice. We've got three more ice testing shows to go. And next week, it's the playoff semifinals. And even though the storm might not be playing, we might have some of the storm stars dropping by. See you then. Rubachuk is behind him, a chance now as Rubachuk feeds it in, Murray says, scores! And it just trickles to the doorstep, Smith, Smith with a chance to shoot, Smith moves it, scores! Better late than ever, I guess.